Well, what do you want to avoid when you're, you head out to those outdoor concerts? Bug bites, of course. Well, what's the most natural way to do so? And how do you handle it after those pesky bugs have managed to find a way to attack you? Important questions that Zach and Dr. Trudy Pieper answer. Some practical advice for this time of year. Well, if you spent any time in our area outside lately, you've noticed some pesky little bugs. The mosquitoes are certainly out alive and well this year, and Dr. Trudy is joining us now to talk a little bit about mosquito and bug prevention and some natural ways that we can do that, um, and maybe omitting some of the harmful chemicals and such that we find. And so, Dr. Trudy, thank you for being on with us today. It's always a pleasure, and we have had 20 straight days of rain. Wow. And so we know with that, that brings mosquitoes. Absolutely. And the first the way is to try to get rid of those mosquitoes mm -hmm. to make sure you don't have them around your house, and mm -hmm. then you don't have to worry about being bitten. And drain anything with standing water. So with all the rain, Zach, yeah. dump out all those pools of water that are standing around the house because they need the water to breed. And so you'll have more mosquitoes right. the more water you have standing so around. So hitting them at the source to begin with. Exactly. And then <laughs> marigolds. Planting really? marigolds, there is the, the aroma, the oil from the marigolds really fights off the mosquitoes. They do not hmm. like that. So the more around your barbecue area, your patio, if yeah. you plant marigolds, then you'll keep the mosquitoes away. Okay. My favorite, my kids were in shop class, which shows you how old my kids are, <laughs> but they all made bat boxes. Uh. And we put bat boxes on our house and on our barn to keep the, and it's fun to watch the bats darting around at night sure. eating the insects. Mm -hmm. And then a simple way to keep them away if you are outside is a house fan. Um, if you just blow the wind, then that keeps them out of your really? face as you're outside. Wow, so those are some prevention techniques that maybe you hadn't thought of, and so certainly take those to heart. And then there are some other ways you have listed here, and quite a few, quite a different, few different options, so let's hit a few of those. Well, you can be creative. If you do get a bite from a flea, gnat, spider, mm -hmm. mosquito, bed bugs, ticks, um, you can do this naturally. And one thing is you, if you have them all over, you've just, just been out gardening and you've got yeah. mosquito bites all over, get in the tub with some apple cider vinegar and that oh. will help the itching and also help them to heal. Now, uh, okay, three cups I see. Dude. Yes. I didn't know if we needed a whole bathtub full of apple no, oh, cider. I, no, no, no. That would be a lot, wouldn't it? That would be a lot. Yeah, three cups in your bath. Okay. Thank you, Zach, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, if you do get a bite, there's several things that you can just place immediately on the bite. A black, wet black tea bag, mm. uh, a slice of cucumber, a slice of lemon or lime. All of those are anti-itch and anti-inflammatory. Okay. My favorite, though, is aloe vera. Uh, leaf and mm -hmm. I think everybody should have an aloe plant in their house and anytime you get a burn or a bite of any kind yeah. break off the tip of that and take that gel and rub on there. Okay and now I see one here on the list that my wife I, I shared recently has used lately and has been very effective been very impressed that's tea tree oil. I like tea tree oil. The problem is it's very fragrant. It yeah. smells. Yes, it is. So I can use it. <laughs> yes, to that. Use it at bedtime when you're not going to be around anybody else. But if you're, if particularly if it's been infected, if it looks mm -hmm. like it's not, if it's gotten worse and redder, then you'd want to use the tea tea tree mm. oil to fight off the infection. But uh, another good one is chamomile tea, mm. which you can drink it keeps you calm so you don't itch. Sure. But also then externally rub it down on there. It contains quercetin, which is a natural antihistamine, will, which will reduce the swelling. Wow, okay, and so finally then you have lemon and lime and what can those do for us? They are anti-itch. If, if you're just itching like crazy and you can't stop a little, squeeze a little lemon or lime on it hmm. and it'll stop the itching. So many different ways, many natural different ways that we can maybe take care of some of those uh, pesky uh, bug bites this summer. Dr. Trudy, thank you so much for being on with us again. We always appreciate having you. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Zach. All right, well stop itching out there and we're going to send it back to you guys. Take it away.